Lyron Hill went on stage and explained to the people why she's always late for her concert. You know she has a reputation for being late, coming to the party a bit tardy. So she explained to her fans that they are lucky that she even shows up. Say what now? That's right, she said that y'all are lucky that she even shows up. Miss Lauren Hill feels some type of way that she only got to put out one album. They didn't even ask her to put out a second album, even after the first album was so successful. I mean, she has a diamond selling album. So let's take a look at what she had to say, and then I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Say she's late. She's late to late. Yo, y'all lucky I'm making this blood rise stage every night. So she lets the people know that they are lucky that she even shows up. What else, Lauren? Well, I don't do it. I don't do it because they let me do it. I do it because I stand here in the name of God. I stand here in the name of Jesus. 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 And no one showed up and said, hey, would you like to make another one? So you heard her say, even though her first album was very successful, they didn't even bother to ask her if she wanted to make a second album, which is crazy. Consider the first album went diamond. So I went around the world and I played the same album over and over and over. So again, as you can see, she is saying that people should be grateful that she is still performing. Well, what I say is that she should be grateful that people are still paying. I highly doubt that she would get up on that stage and perform for free. I mean, make it make sense. I do understand that she is spiritual, but at the same time, these people are paying money to come to this concert to see Lauren Hill perform. This one album that she is talking about, which is a legendary album, but people are still coming to see you, even though you have that one album, they're paying to come to see you, and it's just unprofessional to make people wait sometimes for hours at a time after paying their hard-earned money and taking time out of their day to come to see you but this is what she has to say to them is that you're lucky that i even show up even though you done paid the money and she was serious about that and the thing about it is people are still coming to see lauren hill even though she is late but some things just don't need to be said out loud so anyway this is what is going on with lauren hill let us know what you think about this it's your girl liz keeping you in the know and as a reminder to go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel let's move on to our next topic of discussion Azalea Banks once again comes for a celebrity. This time it is Busta Rhymes. And per usual she has nothing positive to say but she did apologize to Lizzo for what she had said about Lizzo in the past. So let's see what Azalea Banks had to say about Busta Rhymes. So according to Hip Hop DMX, Azalea Banks did an Instagram live on November the 4th and this is what she said about Busta Rhymes. First she apologized to Lizzo. She says I was having a conversation last night and realized that I owe at Lizzo a huge apology for popping so much ish and then next she went on on Busta Rhymes and this is what she had to say if hip hop will allow a 55 plus severely overweight at Busta Rhymes who exhibits major signs of anabolic steroid abuse adrenal gland failure and constipation now how would she know all of this she goes on to say and will also allow him to have a face full of blackheads and acne from what appears to be testosterone shot abuse all while drinking Molly water in 2023 and wearing cartoon like neon yellow fake gold slick rick chain. We have absolutely no right to be trying to score a young black woman for anything. All right. So this is what Azalea Banks had to say about Busta Rhyme. Don't know what Busta Rhyme might have did to Azalea Banks to make her say all of this about him. I was trying to see what she was referring to when she said Busta Rhyme's had on a yellow jacket. I could not find it. But anyway, if anybody's interested, this is what Azalea Banks had to say about Busta Rhyme. So Azalea Banks is out here roasting Busta Rhyme. Now I thought thought she was a rapper and not a comedian is she changing occupations or something since the rap doesn't seem to be panning out maybe she can be a comedian now will Busta Rhymes respond to this that still remains to be seen now I don't expect Busta Rhymes to respond to this I mean I would be very shocked to see Busta Rhymes responding to Azalea Banks now she did apologize to Lizzo what did she say about Lizzo in the past you know she's always going after a celebrity according to hip-hop DMX this is what Azalea Banks had to say about about Lizzo and 29 
2019 she said the fact that the public and the media has been keeping this fat girl joke going for so long is honestly peak boredom so this is what she had to say about lizzo or what she wrote about lizzo in 2019 she said that the fact that the public and the media has been keeping this fat girl joke going for so long as honestly peak boredom she went on to say or to write this song is not good nor is the dumpy fat girl spectacle live set she does saddest bit is that the girl is legit talented and truly only being allowed to shine so long as she allows herself to be this millennial mammy of sorts so that is just crazy that she would say that about lizzo because of her weight and reportedly later in the comments she suggested lizzo looks like she is making a fool of her black self for a white american party public who has a zelia banks gone out there in the past well, the question is who hasn't she gone out there in the past so according to hip-hop dmx these are the list of celebrities that have been on her list that she has went out there in the past drake beyonce Nicki minaj now i remember Nicki minaj responding but not it but i don't remember any of the other celebrities responding oh i remember ti responding other celebrities that she has went out there doji cat dc young fly to name a few so she seems to be constantly going after one celebrity or another and for the most part it's seems like they just ignore her now this is what she said about drake in the past i mean she really be going in she said does drake know his nose job and liposuction is not hip-hop does drake know that no one who actually understands hip-hop a culture born from oppressed don't really care about his soft to colonized confused mixed race facility fasten me attempts to exhibit the true authenticity of an actual mc does drake know his separate attempts to gangsterize canadian street life is an all-encompassing failure and an encompassing failure in and out of itself so it seems like these days Azalea banks is most known for going out the celebrity then for recording rap music and like i said i highly doubt that buster ryan will respond let us know what you think about this make sure you leave a comment below it's your girl liz keeping you in the know and as a reminder go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel let us know what you think about this so let's move on from azalea banks and her shenanigans and let's talk about a man that is doing good in the world mr beast says he's building 100 wells in africa and he thinks that he's going to get counsel for this and from the film that he showed it looks like he's going into the poor communities in africa and building wells so that these people can have good water so who knew it was as simple as that so i want to volunteer resources to dig wells so these people could have water you know we all and hear about droughts in africa and people not having access to water you know many of us thought that it was because of the terrain where africa is located come to find out looks like all they got to do is dig some wells well well so according to this article and complex mr beast is facing backlash after helping build 100 wells in africa so now mr beast thinks he might get canceled for helping our communities in africa this is what he posted on his twitter page he said i already know i'm gonna get canceled because i uploaded a video helping people and to be 100 percent clear i don't care i'm always going to use my channel to help people and try to inspire my audience to do the same so why would mr beast think that he might get canceled for helping out poor communities in africa by digging wells to help to help them have fresh clean water his post has 25 million views and he only posted this tweet yesterday he doesn't explain why he thinks that he might be canceled but he is helping out poor communities there in africa from the looks of things and these communities are black people so why would anybody get mad with him helping out poor black communities oh so mr beast put out this video only one day ago and it has 45 million views the video is titled i built 100 wells in africa so the video takes you on a journey of him helping communities in africa by I digging wells that support the communities to have fresh water clean water why hadn't someone did this before you often see charities asking for money to help supply them with water but really they had the resource right there and all they needed was someone to donate to build some wells wow who would have thought that africa had all that water to just tap into one comment said this is truly amazing really even though it's saddening that you had to do what the government won't i'm happy to see that they've gotten some help and can improve their quality of life so this is all the government had to do was help them dig, dig some wells you still have areas of the continent that are that poor that they just can't dig the well so that they can tap into the resources and who knew that they had the resources that they could just tap into another person says this youtuber has been able to do in a few months what countless politicians failed to do entire years this man truly deserves our respect so kudos to mr beast he is doing something really good for these communities and mr beast said that one 
100% of the profits that he makes from the video will go to building more wells in Africa. And that is just awesome. And Mr. Beast, who is he? I think for one while he was the person with the most subscribers on YouTube, but that's not anymore. Currently, he has 207 million subscribers. And it appears that he is doing good in the world while being successful. How many multi-millionaires do you know that's going into underprivileged communities and helping out the communities? Most of these corporate heads are just worried about lining their own pockets. So this is very refreshing to see. Just think about it if these multi-millionaires wouldn't be worried about bragging rights for being billionaires and multi-millionaires and instead really helped out people, the world would be a better place. I would like to thank everyone for stopping by my channel. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. You know that it helps with the algorithm to help get this video viewed. And go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Try to get up to at least 1,000 subscribers. And I need your help to reach this goal. Busy bodies, it has been a blast. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And until the next video, it's your girl Liz keeping up with the biz. And I am out. It's Liz with the bees. 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 Yo, this is Liz with the bees. It's Liz with the bees telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the bees.